Well, don't we look pretty? Cut the small talk. What do you got? <laughs> Looks like junk to me, mister. Sorry, right, but it's a bag or nothing. No dice. I'm going to have to trick you. Go ahead. Trick me. Mix up, pick it. Razz it to mick. Tricked. You'd better watch out. I'm not worried. I've been tricked by experts. <laughs> Well, honey, that should be the last of them. Everything's ready. Good. I think I'll go and check the roast. Uh, by the way, did you chew my... <laughs> Darren? What is it, honey? <laughs> Your face. How about my face? Well, it's all kind of... It's all kind of... What's happening? Darren, is this some kind of joke? No! Well, what did you do? What did I... I didn't do anything. I went to the door. There was a little girl there. I... Well, what did she do? She didn't do anything. <laughs> she pointed a finger at me and she mumbled a few words. Uh, uh, pick it, pick it, or something. <laughs> what is it? What was she wearing? Uh, she was wearing a, a gypsy outfit, I think. Uh-oh. What? Mother. <laughs> and then she turned into a tree. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Mother. Oh, hello, Samantha. You come into the house right away and take that spell off Darren. What if I don't want to? You're coming with me this instant or I'll... You'll what? I'll spank you. You can't talk to your mother like that. <laughs> wow, what costumes they have. The little one was the mother. Why did you do this to me? I think he looks charming with the beard. Sam? You? Somebody? Do something. Take, the, take this thing off of me. If Mother put the curse on, I can't take it off. Mother, I demand you remove that curse. Curse? What curse? <laughs> Nothing much. You're going to be a werewolf. <laughs> if this is your idea of a joke... Hardly. Now look, Andorra, if you... <laughs> what <it> is? <gasps> oh, good company. Uh, uh, just a minute. I can't let anybody see me like this. In the den and concentrate. Maybe it will come to me. It had better. Jack Rogers. Oh, How do you do? It's nice to meet you. It's nice Thank to you. meet you. <laughs> well, where's Darren? Oh, well, uh, he'll be right down. He's upstairs changing. Into what? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I suppose you know there's a law against this. I'm gonna throw the book at you. I don't know these people. I never saw them before in my life. I had nothing to do with this. Oh, yeah? Why were you running? I was trying to help you catch him. He's right, officer. Mr. Barlow didn't have anything to do with this. Stevens, you and your aunt just aren't Mother Jenny's jam people. <laughs> Good work, officer. Taxi! 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 Aunt Clara, you better tell Sam what happened. <laughs> All right, officer, I'll go quietly. <laughs> Oh, 
the last time I'll be a backseat driver, huh? <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> I, Montague, I got company for you. Tell him to leave his card. I'll call him later. You both have an appointment with Judge Cressetti in the morning. Kind of informal, aren't you? Well, the way it happened was... Oh, forget it. One thing I can't stand is a sneaky drunk. <laughs> now, just a minute. All I had to drink was some vegetable punch. Yeah, sure. Vegetable punch, fruit juice, cough medicine. That's the trouble with you boozers. You can't face up to reality. You live in a dream world. You see everything through an alcoholic haze. You can't face up to things the way they really are. Miserable. Could you just save all the philosophical advice until the morning? Sam, will you stop worrying? He probably got caught in crosstown traffic, that's all. I don't know. I have a strange feeling something's happened. Intuition? Yeah, you could call it that. I've never put much stock in women's intuition. Well, that depends on the woman. Larry, would you mind making my excuses to Louise? Well, Sam, at least let me drive you. No, thanks, Larry, but I've got to fly. <laughs> Oh, Clara, you did it. Oh. Oh, my poor Darren. I wonder who that charming gentleman is with him. <laughs> what you lushes need is to develop a sense of social responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, and only then, will you be able to face life directly in the eye and march bravely forward. Take your hands off me or put some clothes on. One or the other. <laughs> Darren will freeze to death if I don't get some clothes on him. <laughs> Ooh. Bartender! I, I, I mean, jailer! Aunt you blew it again. Oh, it's a shame men don't dress like that nowadays. Turnkey! Warden! All right, Montague, knock it off. Get me out of here! Could uh, you arrange for me to have a single room? <laughs> he had on tights and a plume in his hat and a, and a big sword. That's not enough. Now I got two of them. My advice to you both is to get some sleep. <laughs> well, look at him now. He's got a tin suit on. Okay. I'll be right back with a can open. <laughs> Angels and ministers of grace, protect me. 